Colonel Cripple here. I got my hair cut. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I look like I'm from the army. Salute. Ugh, that was, that was, that wasn't even funny. Um, anyway, uh, so yeah, that was my day. I got a haircut and you're like, Cripple. What? Cripple. I am Cripple, but Colonel Cripple. Call me Cripple. That's just weird. Uh, I should say that because my YouTube channel's name is Colonel Cripple, so I can't tell you not to call me pr Cripple. That would be a bit pre bit preachy. Anyway, I have been watching videos on, uh, I've been watching a walkthrough of, uh, on YouTube of Disney's Epic Mickey Power of Illusion for 3DS. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm on the last world of the video, and the last world of the game via the walkthrough. Holy crap, it looked like a really lame kitty game, because I've... I have Epic Mickey 2 on the Xbox and Epic Platformer. If you like, if you like iconic character, if you like platformers like Banjo Kazooie that have iconic characters like Bottles and the Mole, Grunty the Witch, Epic Mickey on console at least. And I say, I say on 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 a console because. The 3DS version is a bit bland. There's no dialogue. It's all text. Uh, it's just that... If you like Banjo-Kazooie with iconic characters, Epic Mickey 2, uh, the power of 2, is uh, perfect. So... Perfect game for you. Um, anyway. But, my golly, I thought the 3DS version was like... Looks retarded. It actually looks like a fun game. So, uh... I don't know, I'm thinking about it, but Christmas is coming up. So... You know... Don't want to, uh... Get too hasty and accidentally get two copies of the game. But, uh, anyway. That's... And you're probably thinking... Oh my gosh. I forgot to tell my story. I'll cut open to video games. I always talk about video games. I'm a nerd. What can I say? Anyway, tell your story, boy. Well, not your story, but tell them what you think they're thinking. What you think your viewers are thinking. You're probably thinking, OMG, you were at a mall in a haircut. You were at a haircut. You were at a barber shop in a mall. Why didn't you vlog that? Listen. Vlogging in public is the most awkward thing ever. And you're like, so what? Vlogger, other vloggers do it. It's a transitional thing here. We're on day seven, I think. Only a week into my vlogs. Trust me, holding the camera to your face in like a restaurant or at a mall or at a store or at a library is the most awkward thing ever. So I will, I need to, I need to tr ease into it. Ease myself into it. Ease. That's how I said it. Ease. By the way, I'm going to end all my vlogs off like something. Let me do the outro first so you can see that something's for consistency's sake. Uh, thank you so much for watching this documentation of my life. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, and this is how I plan off to end my vlogs, Chris Angel style.